Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the Income Journey. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my niche site business and going through a full income report for September of 2021. We've been doing this for eight months now. This is our eighth kind of full month in this business. I'm pretty much focusing on one main site. I did buy a site back in, I think about April. However, it is a seasonal site that does well during the summer months. So it's kind of now in a downturn. And I've pretty much been putting all of my time into this one main site in this business. So we're gonna take a look, I'll show you both. Uh, we'll look at the numbers, how much we're making this month. Things are going really, really well on the site that I started from scratch. So let's jump in and take a look. If you do enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know down below and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've got a little PowerPoint here. And then at the end of the video, we'll take a look at a few little charts and graphs that I've put together so we can see the trend over the past couple of months. Let's take a look here at an overview. So September was another great month for the main site, which continues to grow rapidly. We're really seeing some good growth there now. Site three is trending downwards, but it's highly seasonal. So that was to be expected at this point in the year. So let's start taking a look at some numbers. This is my main site. This is the site that I started from scratch. In these case studies, we've done one every month since we started. We call it site number two. So last month in August, we did 26 thousand views right here so that was pretty good that was up significantly that month but this month we've increased that by about 70 percent all the way up to 37 thousand views so this was a huge jump and puts us on track for our goal to hit a hundred thousand monthly page views by the end of the year that was my goal at the start of this back in january when i started the site i wanted to hit a hundred thousand page view site in one year and then rapidly grow it from there onwards. So we're looking like we can hit that. If we keep growing at around the rate we're growing, we should definitely get there. I might have to produce a little bit more content over the next three months, but that's totally fine. And I plan to do that. So I think we can hit it and maybe even do more if we continue at like a 70% monthly growth rate, but obviously that's not sustainable for you know, a huge amount of time. So we'll see where things go, but it's looking good so far. Right here, we have the search console for this site. In August, we did 16 and a half thousand clicks with 600,000 or so impressions right there. This month in September, we can see that we did 24,000 clicks from Google with over 1 million impressions. Crossing that million impression mark in a single month, that's pretty cool. Hopefully someday that is a million clicks a month. But right now, that is a cool stat to have. And you can see our average position here has increased to about 12, which which is very, very good. It means that our, start, our rankings are starting to increase on some of them articles. Next up, we can take a look at our search console in terms of articles. So these are all of the pages on my site. These are the top 10 ranking articles. And I like to show you guys every month kind of the growth across them articles. So we've July, August and September here. In August, we had one article that was huge. It was kind of trending. We hit kind of a nice little niche there that exploded, but I knew that would not last forever. Uh, and you can see it's definitely died down. I believe one of these articles is the one that pulled in 3000 last month, but it only pulled in about 1700 this month. But other than that, things are looking up. We've got, you know, six articles now doing over 1000 page views per month, you know, three of them doing, you know, 1500 plus pretty much, and then 1200, 1100, and just over a 1000 here. So hopefully by next month, I think that we can get pretty much all of the top 10 articles here over a 1000 page views per month. And it's really nice to see that our traffic is diversifying out. So whenever we had like 3000 clicks here, that was pretty much about 4000 page views that month on that particular article on the site out of 26,000 total page views, that was a huge chunk of our traffic and kind of left us open to a lot of risk there of if that article completely dies, we lose a lot of traffic. So you can see here the top article on the site, it's now doing about 5% of the traffic. Hopefully we can spread that out even further and just have a lot of articles doing consistent traffic versus one article really pulling along the whole thing. So again, hopefully by next month, the top 10 here will be over 1000 page views. Amazon commissions this month were terrible, absolutely shocking. Uh, I do need to look into this. I haven't done any kind of, you know, kind of due diligence to find out what's going on. Are we losing clicks somewhere? Is there certain articles that are deranking? I haven't done that. I didn't have time this month to do it. So I'm going to spend some time at the start of this month trying to figure that out. Maybe it's just the fact that we had a crazy month in August. In August, we pulled in $198 from Amazon in a single month. And previously to that, our biggest month was about $45. So it could be that this month was just an absolute outlier and did really, really well because we sold a lot of high ticket products. Uh, and then this month, it could be a lower month. So we'll see how it kind of plays out over the course of a couple of months. You can see here, even if we if we didn't get this sale on the final day of the month, 
this would have been even lower in around like $28. So not a great month in terms of Amazon. I'm not really focusing on Amazon for this site at all. I don't write affiliate articles. I pretty much go after articles that are designed to generate ad revenue and traffic. So we do include a few affiliate links in them articles, which do sometimes make some money. However, we're mainly focusing on pulling in traffic and increasing ad revenue, which brings me on to our Ezoic revenue for this site. Now, this was a huge month in terms of ad revenue and ad revenue. I prefer it to affiliate commissions because affiliate commissions are so they're all over the place, right? Ad revenue, yes, it jumps about a little bit, but it's nice to see it staying consistent, fairly consistent every single day. You know you're going to get some money in, whether it might be you know up 50% from the day before, it might be down 20%, whatever, it's not going to be completely zero. So it's nice to see some consistent money coming into the site every single day. You can see here, this month we pulled in $481. That's only up to the 29th. So it'll be a $500 month just from ad revenue, which is really, really nice. Our EPMV increased about 40% or so here to $14, which again, that is higher than I thought this site would produce. I thought that this site in the niche I'm in would probably only produce about, you know, a $10 CPM if it was doing really, really well. But it looks like here, you know, you can see in some of these last few days here, we were doing like $28 a day. We were getting like an 18, 19, 16, 18, 17 dollar CPMs. In the end of the month here, it has dipped back down. I'm not sure if we just had a really good advertiser here or what. But yeah, it's doing really, really well. $14 EPMV. The EPMVs have been trending upwards pretty much since we started the site. So I hopefully in Q4, this will be over $20. Coming into November, December, I think this could easily hit $20 and that would really boost us up. I think December and you know November are gonna be two really good months for this site in terms of both ad revenue and hopefully affiliate commissions as well. So we'll see when it comes around, but I think we could have some really good months there. Uh, and yeah, hopefully hit over the $1,000 mark. I would honestly love to hit over $1,000 this month. If we could get some consistent, you know, you really only need to be doing about $33 per day to hit that $1,000 per month mark. So between ad revenue and affiliate stuff, I think we could hit $1,000 this month if things continue to grow and go really well and we get maybe a little bit lucky with some of our articles that we release uh, getting ranked fairly early. So that is Ezoic revenue. This is our main traffic, or sorry, main revenue source that I'm focusing on for this site. I think the site, we can get it to about 500 to 600 thousand visitors per month at that rate that would put the site at about ten thousand dollars per month and that would be valued at in around three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars for the site and that would be solely on ad revenue as well i think there's a lot of optimization that can be done on other affiliate offers but i just want to focus on growing traffic right now and then on that site start building up an audience for the site and really growing it there and then also we've got the youtube side which hopefully eventually gets monetized which will bring more money in as well. So we'll see where things go over the next uh, kind of couple of months. Hopefully by the tail end of the year, we'll be at that 100,000 and generating over $1,000 per month in revenue from the store. Here's the YouTube channel for the month. You can see in August, we had our biggest month for the channel. It did about 30,000 views. This month, unfortunately, only did 22,000. However, I didn't upload any videos at all. I just didn't have time this month to produce any video content for this channel. But the older videos, they're ranking, they're getting search traffic, they're doing well in long-term search. We pulled in 68 subscribers, 681 watch hours. And again, right now on YouTube, the goal is really to just try and get that subscriber goal of 1,000 so we can start bringing in monetization. I don't know what the CPM will be on this channel. I don't think it's gonna be as high as the EPMVs we're getting uh, you know, on the site. But even if we got like a $5 CPM on YouTube or a $5 RPM on YouTube, that would give us $5 per every thousand views. So that will pull in about another $100 per month just right now with the videos that we've got on there, which would be, you know, it's just nice. That gives us an extra $3,000 in valuation on the site. So again, just trying to get to that point where we can monetize this. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much it. In terms of buying articles on the site, in September, I managed to push out 37 new articles, little shy of our 50 article goal, but again, 37 ain't bad. I would like to really, really ramp this up. I'm seeing competitors in my niche who have the biggest person in the niche, pretty much has about 800 articles on site. And I wanna get to that point. I've got 207 on my site currently, I think. So I wanna get to the point where I have over 
1000 articles on the site and i want to do that probably in the next six months so i really have to ramp up content production i've kind of mapped out a plan over the last couple of days uh, but we now have three writers on the site so we've got me writing some stuff and three other writers so they're really good i've been through a ton i've tested lots over the past couple of months most of them are terrible so i find three that are good unfortunately they have a little bit of limited availability so one person can do two articles per week the other one can do about three and then the other one can do about five so that gives us you know that's pretty much in around 10 articles per week so 40 articles with writers, I can probably push out 30 pieces of content pretty easily. That's 70 a month. We need to be hitting, you know, in around 150 articles per month if we want to hit that goal. So I think that's going to come down to adding in maybe another silo on the site where there's some easy content to write. I can definitely go after that. It's just taking a little bit of time to think about what's going to work there. So I do want to get after that and, you know, keep scaling out this team, increasing the number of writers we've got. But it's hard to find good writers that you know really understand the niche uh, and do well in it but i think i find a few so hopefully we can keep them on and keep them pumping out content over the next couple of months next up is site number three this is the site that i purchased i'm going to go through this really really quickly because there's not much exciting going on you can see here we had about 2,000 page views this month um we did 71 dollars 94 in revenue from amazon uh we did about 35 dollars or so in revenue from ezoic so we did like 105 110 dollars or so in total on the site when i bought the site it was doing 150 uh but we did have some crazy months in there where we were doing big big kind of numbers like 650 dollars a month on it uh but that was peak season and again this is a seasonal website i fully expected it to dip down a little bit in the coming months i'm hoping at the stage it's at now that like 2000 page view mark that it stays pretty steady that it keeps going at this level because if it keeps dipping and kind of worried about losing rankings and them not coming back in the new season uh but yeah well we'll see where it goes it's just a waiting game on this one pretty much i'm not producing too much content on it uh pretty much i didn't put any content up on there this month but hopefully we'll produce maybe four articles a month or something over these winter months that can maybe get picked up in kind of spring summer when the niche starts to come back so that's essentially it for these two sites that's currently what's going on with them but just before we finish up this video let me go ahead and show you uh our kind of some stats here i created these little graphs and some people think they're pretty interesting to look at so this is site number two and we can take a look at currently what is going on on the site so you can see here this is ezoic revenue on the site for the since it started we pretty much started in january you can see we got monetized here in about may and you can see how like rapidly that is growing because obviously traffic is growing we're producing more content we're pulling that traffic in you can see this is rapidly going up and it's pretty much right here growing at like over 100 percent per month again i don't think it's going to stay at that rate but if we could increase this 100 percent this month that puts us at a thousand dollars for the month uh, and that's kind of like a nice goal to be at but we'll see where it goes again let's take a look here at page views they're ramping up massively wasn't as big of a jump from august to september as july to august but in terms of just you know page views in general we got a bigger leap which is cool uh so let's take a look here as well just at profit total profit here you can see some months we did a little bit of kind of in the red which is fine i really haven't spent much on this website at all um in total the site has made 359 dollars now in profit so we're now making money every month it's profitable i do think that in the last three months of the year i'm gonna push content really really hard and spend a lot of money uh, you know maybe put this in the red by a couple of grand each month um so again it's just waiting game we're really just trying to front load a lot of content on here and push this i want to get it like if i could get it to three thousand five thousand i think five thousand dollar a month is a nice goal that's pretty much like a replaceable income level i think is cool to have that as a case study here to show you guys there's a lot of business models out there that work online and this is just another one uh, that has been working and it's been really fun for me in a niche that i actually like it's a website that i'm building that i think is really cool i like the brand i can showcase it i think it's fun to, to build something out like that instead of you know just doing something for the sake of making money so it's nice to see it start to make some money right here this is site number three again you can see things aren't going so great we're on a downtrend right now these were the peak kind of may june july summer months right here and then it dropped pretty rapidly in august and september i would expect to see this kind of stay sort of level over the next couple of months and then ramp up again right into april may june and kind of just have that seasonal effect so again that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did 
please go ahead, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here. And if you do want to keep up to date with these, let me know down in the comments if there's anything else you want to know about the sites, what I'm doing, any questions you might have. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.